Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm about to release the force field protection system that includes Ghost, rinseless wash, stripper juice, it's exactly how it sounds, strips everything off the surface, uh, leaves it dust and lint free, and it also has a priming catalyst for the infinite force field application, which is the coating that's in the system, and then force field boost, which is not only the smoother router product, thing but also the maintainer uh, the maintenance product for infinite force field but i'm also releasing evo shampoo evo shampoo is literally the evolution of car wash soap um, it is a wash and protect product but it is not a standard wash and wax bullshit kind of whatever um you know make you think you've got protection kind of thing it's a real deal protective product it has the acrylic that's an infinite force field in it to protect so it lasts two to three months i um, getting that out of uh, durability here in florida and it can be used either as a standalone protective product or you can apply force field boost in itself after a washing clay bar and then start your maintenance res regimen of force field boost with evo shampoo uh, or like I said, you could just use Evo shampoo if you've got nothing on your car and it is the protection. Uh, I always recommend that you clay bar before you add any protection, uh, which is why I said start with infinite or the force field boost and then you can go with the Evo shampoo to maintain that uh, and then moving forward it will maintain itself. Um, but because of the different composition uh, of Evo shampoo versus the per the perfect soap and different dilution ratio. I wanted to show you guys the difference in sudsing and that kind of thing between the two soaps. Now, the perfect soap dilutes a quarter of an ounce per gallon, so just keep that in mind. And the Evo shampoo dilutes one ounce per gallon. So, for example, I have a quarter of an ounce, which right there where that little black line is it's leaning down a little bit it's it's right at a quarter of an ounce of the perfect soap and this right here is the production uh because if you remember in my other videos i had pink stuff i had uh yellow stuff uh we were testing colors and scents but this is the first production batch of evo shampoo which is green and it will it also smells fantastic like watermelon it's amazing whereas the perfect soap is pink and smells like bubble gum uh, we tried that formula too uh you know well just because he had it sitting around when, when he made the first batch but anyway so pink and bubble gum quarter of an ounce uh per gallon for the perfect soap green and watermelon for the brand new evo shampoo which will be available march 1st 2017 and this dilutes one ounce per gallon because we want the the acrylic to be left behind on the paint and we need a good amount of it per wash so, so i have two buckets and a gallon of water in each bucket what i'm going to do first is i am going to put the one ounce of the um evo shampoo in the bucket and Make sure we get it all out of there. Now, Evo shampoo can be used in a foam cannon. I feel like that's a waste of soap. If you want to use it like that, do it. Doesn't matter to me, I'll sell you more soap. And that's me being uh, honest because that's how I roll. I'm always honest with you guys. So we've got Evo shampoo in here, one ounce per the gallon. And then we're gonna have the perfect soap in this bucket at a quarter of an ounce per gallon make sure it's all out of there and i'm gonna basically just use the hose right there and shoot some uh water in here i'm just getting it all out of the um cup here just so that we're apples to apples as far as dilution ratios or whatever you can see the perfect soap in the bottom of the bucket you cannot see the Evo shampoo, it's absorbed pretty fast. Uh, this is far more concentrated, the perfect soap is, than Evo shampoo uh, because you don't, in, in this blend, I wanted the acrylic to stand out. Now we were able to do that 
without compromising cleaning ability um, with the dilution that this is at one ounce per gallon. It works fantastic. Uh, so a quarter of an ounce per gallon for the perfect soap. It's all loaded up and ready. So I'm just gonna take the uh, hose here, give her a good stream of water, and here we go. Nice and frothy, not nice and sudsy. Looks good, makes people very happy. People all over the planet love this soap. It's, it is amazing for maintenance. Uh, you know, any protection that you have on your car, uh, whether it's mine or someone else's, this soap is gonna definitely not uh, strip it off. Uh, it's gonna make you feel good when you're washing. It smells like bubble gum, it's awesome. So here we go with Evo shampoo with the uh, water. I mean, <laughs> looks the same to me, guys. Uh, honestly, the, the suds over here look a little bit thicker uh, than this. Uh, but remember, this has no acrylic in it. Uh, there's no, nothing that's going to protect in the perfect soap. Uh, the chemical composition is different between the two, but you can see that the suds are very similar. I mean, if I had to say, I mean, these feel nice and thick. And these, these also feel nice and thick. It's about the same. The suds are a little bit different. I would say that the suds and the, the Perfect Soap are a little bit frothier, if you will. Uh, and these are a little bit more... Um, pliable? I don't even know what the word would be. But my point is, you can see, you just saw that they produce, oh my God, that watermelon smells amazing. Uh, you can see that they produce a very similar amount of suds. If I had to give a suds, if I had to say which one seemed to suds more, I would honestly have to say the Evo shampoo gives you a little more suds, but I would say that the Perfect Soap is a little bit thicker suds, if that makes any sense. But anyway, that's where we're at. Um, I'm not going to give you a foam cannon demo because I just don't feel like it's a good way to use the soap. I feel like it's a waste of soap. Uh, I feel like if you're going to use a pressure washer to use the foam, I feel like you should just go ahead and use the pressure from the pressure washer and skip the soap. I don't feel like it does a great job of what you guys feel like it's doing. Um, again, I will sell you more soap because I can tell you whatever I want. I own DetailJuice.com. I am manufacturing these products. And that's, any manufacturer can tell you whatever they want. But I want you to know that I'm here to give you the honest truth every single time. It's important to me. And um, I don't feel like it's, I am doing myself an injustice telling you guys not to waste soap. I wanna sell you more soap, but that's not what I do. I am a pro detailer. I am in the boat of most of you guys when it comes to you know, wanting to get the best value out of my products, but at the same time, not caring as much about the money and more about uh, how they work and the efficiency and you know I worry less about the amount of money I pay for a product and I worry more about the time it takes the the universal usage how well it works on every car and that's what I pay attention to as far as products go I mean I would just say that money the amount of money I spend is less important than the time that I spend and the quality job that I can produce. Uh, because if you're in a detailing business, you own a detailing business, you're buying these products, it's a write-off anyway. It's it's a wash. It's The money you spend can be written off 
when you file your taxes. You're spending that money on your business. You're not actually spending it. You, you're using it and absorbing it into the business. That's the bottom line when you're using products on customers' cars. When you're charging money for a detail and you're using a product, that's an expense. That's a business expense. So just keep that in mind. Anyway, here you go again. The Perfect Soap, Evo Shampoo, Awesome Suds. 813-846-4406. If you guys need me, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you got any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Have a great day, guys.